Hi, welcome to the Raspberry Pi Debian installation introduction. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to install Debian onto a Raspberry Pi 3B plus, well a 3B. And uh, so we're going to go over to the Debian site here. You can see that we're at raspy.debian.net slash tested dash images. So these images are tested. We are using the 3B plus here or the 3B. So let's go ahead and grab that XZ compressed image or XZ dash compressed image. You can right click, choose download, or you can just click it and download that thing and we'll be good to go, right? So we'll just go ahead and move forward with that. Okay, it looks like that image is just about ready. So once we get this image, you'll need an SD card reader for the micro SD card that goes in your Raspberry Pi or micro SD card reader. And then you'll need some way of writing that to that SD card. So uh, Bellina Etcher, <laughs> if I can say that right, that's a great utility and feel free to use that. That is fantastic. I'm running Linux here as my host hardware, so I'll be using the built-in Linux utilities, which just allows me to double-click that image and specify where I want that to go. Okay, now I've installed my uh, SD card in my system, so I've inserted it in the system. I'm going to become a super user, so I'm going to become root here. So I'm open up a sudo-s, which is a super user do shell, and I'm going to go ahead and bring up an lsblk and look for my MMC device. So we look through there and we see this, and sure enough, there it is. Now what I've got here is a free BSD SD card. Now, well, it's a micro SD card in my SD card slot. But I, first, I need to unmount this, this drive. So I'm gonna U-mount this drive, if I can type it properly, and we're gonna, after I U-mount this, then Let's go ahead and wipe out the partition table. Now, the way we're going to wipe out the partition table is we're just going to do a dd input file dev0. So let me go ahead and we're going to type that on the screen here. We're going to bring from device dev0, which is just a whole bunch of zeros, and we're going to put in the output device is that MMC BLK0. Count equals one, block size equals 512. So let me finish that here okay and so now when we press this it runs one time wipes out the first four nice six bytes for that file allocation table and everything else and now if we do the lsblk again you'll see there are no partitions there are a bunch of partitions on the screen right now but if you run after you run that dev zero all the partitions are gone so now it looks like it is a fresh SD card with nothing on it whatsoever you don't have to do this but it is kind of a neat little preparation for making sure you don't get any weird prompts saying oh do you want to put this on a partition or what do you want to do with this or are you sure you want to overwrite if you present it with a blank SD card it's not going to ask are you sure you want to install it a new partition or overwrite it's going to be like oh yeah hey you want to put it here that sounds great and that's what we're going to do so I went ahead and double clicked the bookworm image which is that XZ file so it's a zipped um, tar file there and I'm going to tell it yeah put it to the S car SD card reader which is a, a 64 gig card that really looks like 59 gig so I'm going to say yes go to dev MMC BLK0 and write to that card right there so let's go ahead and choose start restoring and that's going to restore that image or write that image over to that card. So time to enter our password and now it'll get started. Okay, so this is going to take about a minute and a half or so. And uh, while that's going, let's go ahead and get the Raspberry Pi ready. So for the Raspberry Pi, you're going to need power. Of course, you've got the micro SD, so you're going to plug that in, in a second. You're going to need a keyboard. And you're probably going to need a, an Ethernet um, cable that you want to plug into the thing, you know, something that you can use in the future. An HDMI cord so you can put it in your monitor and watch what's going on. So I'm going to do that on the screen here. I'm going to set up my Raspberry Pi and uh, feed through the HDMI here and see if I can give you a good view of the Pi. Okay, I've got the Pi HDMI plugged in and uh, it took a little time for it to sync up, but now we've got it. We've got it on the screen. 
we can see that it sees ETH0 as our Ethernet card on the Raspberry Pi. Ah, let me adjust the HDMI. Okay, I got it. Um, so we're back over here. We've got the link is down. And if you wait about 30 seconds or so, it should pop over to a login prompt. Excellent. There it is. So now for the login, the default login for the Debian image that we're using is root with a blank password. Thank you so much to Debian for the root and blank password. We really appreciate that. Um, it is one thing to be working with a system that you may not be familiar with possibly the first time in your life and have a weird password so in this case we don't have a weird password we've got uh, a regular password well no password whatsoever so we can get directly into the pie now let's go ahead and check this pie and sure enough right there you can see that we've got 53 gig available let me uh, let me zoom into that Oh, before I zoom in, let me bring up this. Um, over here, if you are wondering, where did I get that root password or how do I know that other than just typing root and finding out, um, you can go over to where we get this, this raspy.debian.net, and then go over to the little configuration options and you can see all the configuration options that they've put inside this pie. Really, thank you Debian, they did a fantastic job with this and really appreciate everything they did with it. So uh, thanks to the developers over at Debian.net and what they've done with the Raspberry Pi. So now in the system, let me enlarge this. Okay, so we can see that we've got the 57 gig there, the size of the device. Um, we can run an LSBLK, things of that sort. And we can look at the entire disk size, but uh, everything's gonna be a little bit slow motion because of my, my particular installation here. But hopefully, this is giving you an idea of how to get this up and running. Let me bring up the, the actual size here. Okay, and you can see that we do have that MMC BLK0 is 58 gig and 57.5 uh, gig is in the root partition. There you go, your, uh, your Pi is set up. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video and maybe we can overclock the Pi install a web server or something else. So look forward to talking to you in the future.